Good morning from Rome again. It's now day two, uh, second morning. My visit here and I'm on my way to the Spanish steps, which you already see there in the distance. I'm gonna try to photograph it. And yeah, yesterday I did a lot of exploring, a lot of walking and to say Rome is an awesome city. With many, many beautiful buildings. Lots of things to photograph and I already know the four days I'm here, it's not enough, not nearly enough. But yeah, I have to select a few locations. So today it's the Spanish steps. And yesterday evening, I photographed the famous view of the Vatican from one of the bridges. But there were so many people around, so I didn't block this because it feels kind of awkward talking to a camera, especially if there are people around. But now in the morning, as usual, the city is nearly empty and that's great. It's with all the cities I visit. When I go for a walk in the morning, it's so nice, it's empty. And the evening is usually crowded. So that's why I enjoy sunrises much, much more. Not only when photographing cities, also with landscapes. There's just usually less people. But now we're nearly there and yeah, hopefully I find a composition. To admit it's not that easy to find the right composition here. I mean it's obvious what I shoot yeah but to align all the elements especially the fountain and the steps, the tower, the church, the houses to each side so I mean moving the camera just a few inches changes the composition here so I'm still experimenting and also I quickly took a first set of photos because I'm honestly not sure if this street here will stay empty. So I'm making sure to get at least a, a few shots now. Also what's great, the car, the police which was there just moved. So I now have a free view. But as I said, I still have to experiment a bit. Let's quickly look at the photo I just took. So it's a very straight on composition, also bracketing, yeah, and yeah, I'm not yet sure. I, I think I'm going to crop a little bit to the sides, but maybe I'll experiment a bit with some vertical shots. But as also yesterday, it's very important again to align the composition, so to not get the tilting line. So this is what I'm making sure. But now I have to experiment a bit more. So I'm still here and it's starting to get a bit crowded, so the first tourists are coming in. But it's no problem, as long as I'm on the tripod, I can just wait and I take many photos. So if the tourists are on the steps in one photo, I just wait five minutes. And when they're gone, I take another one. And I can later easily blend those in Photoshop. <coughs> also what helps, you see this guy up there. He was sitting right in my composition on this side. And yeah, just talking to them and he kindly moved to the other side so I have a free shot and this doesn't always help but most of the time if you ask kindly, yeah, the people will just understand you want to take a photo and just move. I mean, that's great and if you wouldn't have moved, yeah, I, I just have waited so waiting is always an option. So a little patience, we're used to it as landscape photographers. So now let's look at the photo. So I'm taking another composition now, taking full advantage of this morning. So it's a little bit different to yesterday. We are basically stuck to one composition. But I think with this uh, scene here, it's good to get a few more angles and also the light isn't changing that much. So 
once I get in the one blue eye shot, just take the next composition. And yeah, this way I get a little bit more out of it. And, and now I'm waiting for sunrise. But yeah, I'm not sure this morning. The sky seems very thickly covered by clouds, so I might have to stick with those blue hour shots. But they look so nice, so I'm not disappointed at all. So this is great. So I'll now continue and wait. I think the lights will soon turn off and yeah, then I head back to the hotel. So see you. Here's a little add-on to the blog. I want to show you um, the last photo and how I blend the different layers or the different exposures I photographed. As I said, I photographed one scene where there was a guy sitting on this side of the fountain and there are also people here. But in this scene the sky looked still very nice, very blue and I have some beautiful light on the buildings. But I wanted this scene without the people, so I just waited a little longer and asked him to, if he could go to the other side, which he did. And so I have another photo. He's now sitting here, but this whole area here is clear of people. The sky is a little brighter already, but I can blend those two. And then I have a third one, which is called, I call it already front. And it's, yeah, it's focused to the front here, just to make sure I have a little bit more sharpness there. So now the first thing I do is, as usual, I auto-align the layers just to ensure that everything's aligned because here when I focus to the front uh, it usually changes the um, yeah, field of view a bit. So I align the layers now and I can have a quick look if it's fitting. No, so I usually look at another place. Okay, so the first thing I'll blend those two layers here for the background. Put a black mask on it. And now I'll just paint with a soft brush, 100% <coughs> opacity over those areas here. You see the light is a little different in this image, but it's not too bad. I'll just add some um, photo filter layers later to bring it in alignment or to have it look similar. So go with a soft brush here. Okay, so now I'll use a photo filter. Holding down Alt, I snap it to this layer. And now you see it just makes this layer here little warmer and I'll change the filter and go a little lower in the density to get an even blend here. I could use a bit more of this layer now going with like 20% just painting a bit around the buildings and here to even out the blend but basically now the image is free of people. Okay, so the last thing, I put a black mask on the front layer and now I go in very closely and holding down shift I can switch on and off. So it's not much, but it's just a touch sharper. So with a 100% brush, I just paint the front here. And what I'll do, I set this layer to luminosity because I just want the details and no changes in the color. So I'm using a little harder edge here and just painting in the front area, which is sharper or which is a bit sharper, contains more detail. And that's a very easy blend. And going to the corners, you see, I gain a little bit of sharpness, which is usually the case. And the whole reason for this additional step, since it's a little bit brighter, I just put a curves layer above it, again holding down Alt, I snap it to the front layer, darken the front layer a little bit and 
that's basically it. That's the blending. I now flatten the image and continue with my normal processing.